the last video we got the transfer case fixed it seems to be running good the problem i'm having now when you're on a flat straight open road on cruise control uh, a surging or a, like a pulsing not skipping like it was before it just feels like you're going over a series of little bumps i can feel it the passengers can feel it <clears throat> turn off the cruise control all runs fine this is a 2015 ford territory uh, sz2 diesel all-wheel drive problem i'm talking about here today uh amongst the ford territories it's specific to the all-wheel drive diesel model because it has that clutch pack in the transfer case other trucks and cars that use a clutch pack driven uh, transfer case uh, ford f-150s uh, and explorers the ones that have the auto all-wheel drive option and the fix is generally pretty simple uh, get a set of matching tires same diameter uh, but I'll go through uh, explaining why if the rear wheels are traveling faster than the front and you don't have enough slip in the system it's going to bind up Ford specific Ford and Mazda software that is free so we've got the front wheels doing 76 to 77 we've got the back wheels doing 77 to 78 those rear wheels are, are a little bit smaller and they're having to travel a little bit further if the diesel all-wheel drive has that has the big 6R80 transmission and it has the Borg Warner transfer case. The Borg Warner transfer case uses a clutch pack compared to the uh, the older all-wheel drive territories that had a um, they didn't use a clutch pack they used a uh, planetary gear and a you know constant front rear uh, torque split 60 40 or something like that. So with this clutch pack the Borg Warner single speed torque on demand they could vary how much torque you put through the front wheel I'll briefly explain what a transfer case is so you got a vehicle with four wheels engine it's my wonderful artistic version of one transmission driving the back wheels through the differential differential allows for slip between these two wheels uh, but in all-wheel drive what you have is uh is a chain that runs off the axle here and it transfers the power to the front wheels and we call this transfer case so we have a, a clutch pack located about here and that allows the car to decide how much power it puts through that front axle so why does it do this only when you have cruise control on so when looking through the uh the different parameters that are available on force these show up under the all-wheel drive module how much torque has been sent to the front wheels but all-wheel drive clutch command percent so here's where i turned the cruise control on you see it turns up the duty cycle on that clutch pack so when you're turning cruise control on uh, the back wheels are more tightly coupled to the front wheels therefore if your tires are slightly different diameter you've got a bigger problem it cannot slip so easily so it's binding and and you're getting that torque build up and release boom, 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 boom. And you're feeling that as you're driving down the road. Why does it increase the amount of torque being sent to the front wheels when it's under cruise control? I have no idea. That's a complete mystery to me. Uh, I'm sure it made sense to them at the time. Anyway, either way, the, the problem isn't so much that the torque's being more torque's being sent to the front wheels. The actual problem is those uh, rear tires are a smaller diameter. On first glance, I thought these were the same tires with about the same tread. This one's a Gitty Comfort. This one is a Gitty 4x4. Kind of see it as a different sidewall. Okay, so I'm measuring 2.276, 2.276 circumference around the middle there. On the other side, I'm measuring 2.230. Uh, I've measured to the 10, 10 centimeter mark and taken 10 off here, more than 4 centimeters. Smaller than the other tire. Too much. Can you change the tire pressures? does this make a difference no i couldn't see any difference i tried running these at 30 psi uh, all round i tried running 40 psi at the back and 28 at the front the two rear are still traveling faster than the two front now this problem seems to be a, a mechanical problem with the physical slipping of the clutch packs i ran through some of the obd parameters for both uh, traction control and abs those were not being activated with that clutch pack the vehicle is able to vary how much power it puts through the front wheels and and plotting that up from four scan you can see okay here we are stationary uh, no power being sent to the front at all 
as I accelerate, it's putting more through the front wheels. I'm, I'm guessing this is a gear change. I'm not sure. Anyway, a bit of a dip as I accelerate. And uh, you can see here once I'm up to speed and on cruise control. Nice and steady. So it's surging, but there's no there's no surge in what the computer is telling that clutch pack to do. That's not where the problem is. So what can you do to test if this is your problem? Uh, well, for me, I had two tires on the front with the same with the same amount of wear. So what I've done is swapped one of the back tires with one of the front. I've taken the um, speed difference off that transfer case. Of course, it's created a speed difference left to right. The front and rear differentials are not locked. For testing purposes only, of course, it might pull to one side under braking if you then have a left tyre with more grip than the right tyre. I then did a test run and the problem went away. So no more juddering. It confirms that the tyre size is the problem. And with a few drives, and not only is it uh, running smoother under cruise control, it's also shifting smoother all around. I guess it was binding up and uh, causing harsh shifts. I did several more runs to confirm. And, and yes, it does seem to be... Uh, that the clutch pack has been disengaged, lowering the command when it's changing gear. This is the gear change command, and this is actually changing gear here, seems to line up. I've gone through several times. I was only seeing this, this drop in commands when we were going from first gear to second gear, under conditions of, of a high command percent. You can see it again in this run, this time under light throttle. It's going from 43%. It's changing gears, it's dropping the clutch command down to 16%. Thanks to the guys on the Ford forum, help me work out what's going on here, including uh, Toiler for your advice. Hope you find that useful and thank you for watching.